Hey YouTubers, Wendy here. Let me give you guys an update on what's going on. Um, you know, when you walk through the wilderness, and I know there are a number of others out there who are walking through the wilderness right now too, but when you're water walking, you've stepped out in faith, and uh, you're not knowing where your provision's going to come from, and you're just trusting God, and uh, it gets so hard at some parts of the walk that you really wonder whether you're going to come out the other side or you're not. And um, you know, I kept asking God, especially last week, I kept saying, Lord, when is this going to be over? When is this going to be over? You know, I, I can't find work. I don't have any money. I don't know where food's coming from. I don't know how to pay the rent. I don't know how to do anything. And, and nothing I'm doing is working. And I never saw... I never saw another time in my life when I could not find any kind of work. I can always find some kind of work. I don't care if it's cleaning houses or waiting tables or whatever. I could always find some kind of work. And I just kept looking and I kept interviewing and I kept calling and I kept sending out resumes and nothing. No doors were opening. And I can honestly say it has been one of the most terrifying times I have ever walked through in my entire life. And, you know, I realized when I made the last video and I talked about, you know, the, the final, what to me is the final act of, you know, surrender, looking at the last, you know, little things that I have which are so small, I mean, they're not worth anything to anyone else, but but they're precious to me, and just looking at those things and saying, you know, can I give him this? Can I give him this? Can I give him this thing that my mother made? Can I give him this thing that was the last thing my brother gave me before he died? You know, can I give him all these little small, you know, possessions? If it comes to that and he requires that of me, can I give him those, those things too? You know, I said he could have anything. And when I could answer that question, and, and that final surrender, and I made that video, that night, I sat in my living room and I was praying. And I realized that I could look down into my hands and I could identify the gift that I had gotten from this water walk that I've been on. I could identify, it wasn't just an increased faith. I could look down and I could identify gifts that I had picked up in the walk. And... Suddenly I felt breakthrough in my spirit. All of a sudden I felt something break in the spirit and I knew somehow, I knew somehow that that was the point I had to get to before the doors would start to open, before I could come out the other side of the wilderness. And um, I think that, you know, when you get to the point that you can, you can look down in your hands and say, this is what I've gained. From this walk. This is what I've gained. You know, it it broke me. It, it devastated me. It, it put me through more pain than I thought I could endure. But I, I have this gift that is priceless that if I could, I would not trade this gift back to not go through that pain. I think when you reach that point, that is when you can know that you're coming out of the wilderness. You are coming out of your finishing up the water walk and things are, are fixing a break and get better. And uh, after that day, um, nothing happened immediately, except that in my spirit I could feel that something was about to happen. I could just feel it. And I just, I kept doing what I knew to do. I kept doing what I had been doing. I'm just like searching job sites on the internet and putting my application everywhere and posting my, you know, online job profiles and and applying for every possible job I could find that I even might qualify for online and just, you know, calling people on the phone and going for every interview and going to register with all the temp agencies and talk to people I knew, you know, anybody that's going to work, any kind of work, I don't care what it is, you know, I'll scrub towards, I don't care. And I, I just kept doing the things that I knew to do and, you know, trying to make my food stretch and, and things like that. And um, the doors finally started to open. On Wednesday, um, I got a call to go and interview for a job, and I interviewed for it. It was too far away. It's a 55-mile commute across town, across town traffic. 
uh, across the worst of the traffic. But I, you know, when you're desperate, you just you just go see. You know, you've got to have some kind of job. And I thought I don't care if I have to get up at four o'clock in the morning, whatever I have to do, I've got to, I've got to find work. And um, I went to interview for the job. Since then, I have gotten calls and emails. I just got another call from a recruiter agency um, that wanted to set up interviews. Before that, nothing was happening. But after that day, the doors did start to open. I did uh, get the position that's uh, 55 miles away, which I'll have to move. Um, and, you know, I, I won't get paid for a month, so trying to, you know, drive there for a month is going to really be um, a challenge, but I'm just trusting God for that. And, you know, I don't care. I just, I just need to work. But I just wanted to say, you know, for those of you walking through the wilderness, you know, and you'll recognize the truth in my words when I say this. This has been a time of really seeing, um, you know, what God's about for one thing. Things about Him that you didn't think you knew or you thought that you already knew, you'll, you find out, you know, when you're in a wilderness experience, you, you learn things about God that you thought you did know about God. But you learn them in a whole new way. You learn who your friends are. You learn who your friends are not. Um, you learn a lot of really painful truths about some people that you care about, that you thought would be there for you when things got really bad. You find out they're not. And it's really, it's really hurtful, but, you know, we need to know who our friends are, but we also need to know who they're not. And the people that come through for you will surprise you really surprises you. And when you find out that the people you thought would be there for you don't, you know, show up, then it makes you feel really alone. But, you know, God's with you. And, and that's what really, you know, that's what really counts. Um, when you walk through a woman's experience this hard, it changes you. It it just it changes you. It um <clears throat> shows you a lot of truth that you know, it gives you the kind of education you didn't maybe necessarily want to have, but it does change you. But anyway, um I think any time that you do without over a long period of time it changes you. But Anyway, I um, I just wanted to share with you guys that update. Um, hopefully, I'm coming out of this wilderness experience now. If I'm right about, you know, I saw the gift in my hands, and if I'm right about what that means, I hope that I am. Um, and um, I won't be on here as much because if I'm commuting like two hours each way. You know, um, I'll have to be on here mainly on weekends and stuff. So if you guys email me or leave comments or something, if I don't approve them right away, it's probably because I'm like a zombie or something from all that commuting. But bear with me because I'm going to try, when I get caught up on everything, I'm going to try to um, find a place closer to work so I'll I have more time for ministry again. So <clears throat> I'll still be doing it, and I'll answer the emails if at all possible. But if there's a delay, please realize it's not because I'm being boring you. It's because... I'm trying to, you know, work this new job and learn new things and and drive in Dallas traffic, you know, for 55 miles and stopping the traffic. So twice a day, that's it's gonna be pretty brutal. But you know, do what you gotta do. And I'm so grateful to God for opening the door and sending me that job. So so grateful to Him. All I could do, all the way back from that interview, was thank Him and praise Him for coming through for not, you know, leaving me homeless. I, it's, I'm still thanking him and praising him, like, all day long. Just so grateful that I'm not going to be in the streets. I, it's hard to imagine being in the streets and being 50 years old. It's hard to imagine being in the streets, period. But it uh, gives you a whole new perspective on life. gives you a whole new perspective on friendship. And what real friends do, 
and they were tons of me, people who really care about you, not just friends, but family too. You find out real quick who cares and who don't. But anyway, that's the update. That's the situation. And uh, for those of you who are going through a wilderness experience right now, my heart goes out to you. And uh, you send me an email and pray for you. That's all I can do, but I will do that. Um, so God bless you, and thanks for watching. And thanks to all of you who emailed me and said, I'll pray for you do this, because believe me, that comforted me to know that people were praying, discomforted me. Um, I don't have a lot of family, so that really helps. So, thanks.